Okay, tailoring. Let's do this. Uh, tailoring, I think, is going to be quite easy. Uh, hopefully, I've farmed up enough materials to get it from 1 to 100 in one sitting. I can't imagine that it's going to need more materials than what I've got so far, but who knows. Uh, the first thing I will say when it comes to leveling is I'm going to try and do this as cheap and as effectively as possible. Obviously, we don't know exactly the value of the materials because this is still the end of the beta. Uh, but at least as it stands right now, I can make a safe assumption that shrouded cloth is going to be really, really cheap, and lightless silk is going to be really, really expensive. So we're going to want to focus on using as much shrouded cloth over lightless silk uh, where possible. So we're level one right now. Let's, uh, let's get going. Where's the tailoring trainer dude? He's going to be helpful to have open. So we're going to make some bandages, as, as many of these as we can, I reckon. Uh, at least the first 5, 10, 15, maybe 20. What I have done is I've done a bit of pre-planning. I think I roughly know how many materials this is going to take, but uh, we will we will be able to work that out as we go. Um, these, for as long as these are orange, we're going to continue to craft these because they literally only take a single piece of cloth. Yeah, admittedly, you shrouded cloth, you're probably just going to vendor these eventually, but... Skill points is what we need to get to the big stuff. It's the big stuff where we start to make the uh, make the gold back. So, oh, double skill points, but it takes five cloth. Uh, it's still going to be more beneficial to craft these, you know. At least until we get to 15. Probably until we get these green, maybe even grey these out completely, the fact that they're so cheap. I reckon these will go grey at probably 20, green at 15 maybe. Uh, how have I messed that up? Oh, of course, because you don't... Guarantee a skill point every time. Okay, green at 15. Still super cheap though. It's four cloth for two points. Actually, now we can probably look at crafting some of these to be fair. Uh, two skill points for four, only four cloth. Two cloth per skill point guaranteed. Uh, yeah, it uses thread, but this is a vendor item, so let's just smash through a few of these. Uh, as these are no longer going to actually guarantee us or even be regular skill points let's create uh, let's go with the mittens because we got the mittens first create a few of these up 17 18 19 20 21 pick up a new piece of gear let's just check that it's not better to be using uh, we probably should it actually doesn't matter now we can either craft capes or hoods it makes no real difference the material cost is the same you get three skill points for six cloth or two skill points for four let's get to 25 this is kind of as I expected it to be seven cloth required for three skill points that's two cloth per skill point. That's two cloth per skill point. Uh, having more gear is probably better than less gear. Let's just keep going. This might go yellow pretty quickly. 29. Craft one more then. Okay. That's gone yellow now, so we probably want to ignore that one. Start guaranteeing ourselves three skill ups each time. I think once we get to 40, um, once we get to 40, we get the heavy cloth bandages, and I reckon we can pretty much craft those for a long ass time. I reckon this is going to be quite a quick and simple one. Six, seven, six. Only six skill, only six cloth needed to get. To guarantee ourselves three skill points. Well, that's a bargain. And now that's put us at 40. This is the point where I think, unless the crafter's marks are super cheap, crafter's marks using five cloth guarantee a skill point. Two cloth guarantees a skill point. Uh, or six cloth guarantees a skill point. Well, these don't need the vendor material. These are slightly cheaper, so why not? Let's get some of these on the go. It's not until we start getting to the shadow lace stuff to where 
things will then become a little bit more expensive because they'll start diving into our lightless silk we get the next crafters mark these are still super cheap to make now at this point you could continue continuously just craft these heavy bandages or craft the the shoulders if you feel that you're going to be able to sell these shoulders if you feel that you've got some use for these then you can get your skill points from there but for simplicity I'm just going to keep plowing through with these I mean arguably the vendor value of these is better so in fact to be fair you probably should be crafting the shoulders um, ah, but now they've gone yellow whilst these are still orange and now we start getting the shadow lace stuff you see so this is where you can start using lightless silk which is uh, I would I would say that the lightless silk is likely to be 10 times the value of a single piece of cloth there or thereabout given the drop rates of it so far but let's just keep plowing on with these I reckon these are gonna go we're probably gonna get all the way to 70 you know maybe 60 maybe 70 with these because they're so cheap and now everything else is gonna get really expensive even though these are yellow we're gonna still keep crafting these It may even be worthwhile pushing these to grey. 58, 59. See, we're still actually getting a skill point every time. I think the RNG gods blessed us a little bit there. Let's just double check these. We're getting two skill points guaranteed, but it's costing us quite a bit of lightless silk now. Four lightless silk as a minimum, and then five pieces of cloth. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue with the bandages at least until these go green. Probably another five of those minimum. 61, 62, 63, 64. Do one more, see if we can get to 65. 65. Nah, now nah, see, now it's gone green. Now this is where we might want to look at. Oh, we picked up Shadowless hand wraps. These only guarantee one skill point, whereas these still guarantee us two. But we're trading in a lot of lightless silk. That's I, I would say that's roughly the equivalent of about 40 shrouded cloth um, in terms of gold value, guesstimation. Um, so even though that's two skill points, I think I'm going to push these all the way till they grey out. Unless we get on a really, really bad rate of these. But I reckon we can get to 70 just with these bandages. 66 as long as we still keep getting skill points every three or four times we craft one which is really really we're at 69 already giggity oh, now it's slowed down but we're massively quids in compared to crafting the shadow lace stuff so far even with having to craft many 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 of these ah 70 oh it's still green can we get to 75 Let's, let's just go. Let's go for 75. Because our only alternative is something that's going to use a lot of this lightless silk. Although we're really not getting skill points very quickly. It's still very cheap. In fact, we crafted five and didn't get a single skill point that time. Seventy-one. I was expecting these bandages to go grey at 70. So I'm surprised we're getting anywhere. Now, of course, there is a safe argument to say that crafting the shadow lace hand wraps is not a complete waste because, of course, you can either use them if you're a cloth wearer or sell them on the auction house. So if you're looking to recoup gold that way, um, you can do so. We're up to 72 now. These are still going to give us skill points a little bit. Even crafting 10 of them per skill point is still only 20 cloth, which I would say is going to be cheaper than uh, getting your hands on lightless silk. If you have a load of lightless silk and you, you're happy to use it, then sure, go ahead. But it might be worth saving it for when you're max level. You're going to need the lightless silk for crafting legendaries eventually anyway. So maximizing the usage of just your basic cloth, I think, is worthwhile. We're at 74. Ah, 75 and it's gone grey. Okay, now things are going to start to get expensive. But we, uh, oh, we get three skill points though. 
Well, that's an absolute no-brainer then to get three skill points for that. Uh, three skill points, 75. Well, let's create at least two of them. Because we need to get to 80 to get to the next item. Uh, six cloth and five silk. Seven cloth and six silk. So it's still more effective to make these ones. Let's do them one at a time though, in case they go orange. And keep going. 87, now it's gone orange. Now it is going to be better to create these ones, even though they're more expensive, simply for the guaranteed skill points. 90. Make the trousers. The trousers guarantee skill points, and they guarantee three of them, so it's no brainer. And again, this will give us access to the last pattern. And then you've got the choice, although arguably the mantles are slightly cheaper and it gives you something else to, to sell, so that's what we'll do. Two of these will get us to 100. Boom! Easy game, easy game. That was relatively quick, that was relatively easy. Actually looking by the materials, we didn't use a lot at all. We used literally uh, just over a stack of shrouded cloth, maybe a little bit more, but we used maybe 30, 40, 50 maximum lightless silk. We didn't use much at all. Um, I'll do some counting up after the video, guys. I'll put it in the description box below so you can get the exact amount of materials that was used. But that was tailoring 1 to 100. Hopefully that's helpful for you. If you're new around here, guys, make sure you subscribe. Give the video a like if you got to this point and it's been helpful for you. But I've been Mantheus. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.